This medication is used to help with constipation. It contains two medications, senicides and docusate sodium. Senicides are stimulant laxatives, which help to keep water in the intestines and promote movement. Docusate sodium is a stool softener, which helps to increase the amount of water in the stool, making it softer and easier to pass. This medication can be taken once a day, usually at bedtime, with a full glass of water. It's important to follow the dosage instructions provided by your doctor or pharmacist. When taking senicides docusate sodium, be sure to take it with a full glass of water as directed by your doctor or as indicated on the product package. It's important not to exceed the recommended dosage or take it more frequently than instructed. Typically, it may take 6 to 12 hours before this medication causes a bowel movement. If your condition persists or worsens, or if you experience rectal bleeding, it's important to seek medical attention. Additionally, do not take this medication for more than 7 days unless directed by your doctor, as overuse may lead to serious side effects. The dosage of this medication is based on your age, medical condition, and how you respond to treatment. Some common side effects of senicides docusate sodium include stomach-slash-abdominal pain or cramping, nausea, diarrhea, or weakness. If any of these effects persist or worsen, it's important to inform your doctor or pharmacist promptly. This medication may also cause your urine to turn reddish-brown, but this effect is harmless and will go away when you stop taking the medication. If your doctor has prescribed this medication for you, it's because they have determined that the benefits outweigh the potential risks of side effects. Many people using this medication do not experience serious side effects. However, it's important to contact your doctor right away if you experience any serious side effects, such as nausea-slash-vomiting-slash-diarrhea that doesn't stop, muscle cramps-slash-weakness, irregular heartbeat, dizziness, decreased urination, or mental-slash-mood changes like confusion. Although very rare, a serious allergic reaction to this medication is possible. Seek immediate medical help if you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, including rash, itching slash swelling, especially of the face slash tongue slash throat, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so if you notice any other effects not listed, be sure to contact your doctor or pharmacist. If you are in the U.S., you can report any side effects to the FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or at www.fda.gov slash medwatch. In Canada, you can report side effects to Health Canada at 1-866-234-2345. Before taking senicides docusate sodium, it's important to talk to your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies to senna, senicides, or docusate, or if you have any other allergies. This product may contain inactive ingredients that can cause allergic reactions. It's also important to discuss your medical history, especially if you have had appendicitis, sudden changes in bowel habits, bleeding from the rectum, or intestinal blockage. Before having surgery, make sure to inform your doctor or dentist about all the medications and products you are using. If you are pregnant, it's not recommended to use this medication for long periods, so consult your doctor for more details. This medication can pass into breast milk, but it's unlikely to harm a nursing infant. Always consult your doctor before using this medication if you are breastfeeding. When taking senicides docusate sodium, it's important to be aware of potential drug interactions. This means that it could affect how other medications work in your body, or even increase the risk of serious side effects. It's important to keep a list of all the medications and herbal products you are using and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. They will be able to advise you on any potential interactions and help you manage your medications effectively. One product that may interact with senicides docusate sodium is mineral oil. So be sure to discuss this with your healthcare provider. And remember, never start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. If you or someone else has taken too much senicides docusate sodium and are experiencing severe symptoms like passing out or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical help. In the U.S., you can call your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. In Canada, you can contact a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of an overdose may include ongoing nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea, as well as severe stomach pain or cramping.
it's important to keep all medical and lab appointments to ensure the effectiveness of senicides docusate sodium. In addition to taking this medication, lifestyle changes can also help prevent or relieve constipation. You can try exercising, drinking enough water, and eating a proper diet with fiber-rich foods such as bran, fresh fruits, and vegetables. It's a good idea to talk to your doctor or pharmacist about lifestyle changes that might benefit you. If your doctor has prescribed senicides docusate sodium for you to take regularly and you happen to miss a dose, take it as soon as you remember. However, if it's close to the time for your next dose, it's better to skip the missed one and just wait for the next scheduled dose. It's important not to take a double dose to make up for the missed one. Stick to the regular dosage schedule as advised by your doctor. When it comes to storing senicides docusate sodium, it's important to follow the specific storage instructions provided by the brand of medication you have. Always keep medications out of reach of children and pets. It's also important to properly dispose of this medication when it's expired or no longer needed. Be sure to consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for the correct way to dispose of it. Remember not to flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed to do so. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.